everyone. Welcome back. I just crossed over into Wisconsin and the Louisiana flood journey continues. Well, I was going to continue filming when I was in the truck, but once I started pulling this thing, which I've never pulled anything, this is not a fifth wheel before this big, it was like I am just driving and I'm not going to be doing any filming. What Melissa and I did is, you know, after the flood, we did the uh, GoFundMe thinking, you know, we have nothing to cover the contents of the house. But what you don't realize when the flood comes, because you've never been through one before, is you need somewhere to stay. And it was just total chaos. And you guys have watched the videos. I've been down there a couple times, got in the house, and it's been now almost three months still nothing from insurance. She's got no money at all. Even the little bit of insurance that she has, she's got nothing. So luckily, the GoFundMe funded her a place to stay. But where she was staying now, there is you know hardly anywhere to stay. So everybody's up in their prices and it got too expensive. So she had already spent $4,000 of the GoFundMe for a place to stay, leaving her about three grand left. And we said we're done. So she left there and now she went back into the house and she's just staying in the master bedroom, which was gutted. I mean, it still smells moldy and stuff in there, but uh, she got an air mattress and then a little refrigerator and then uh, what are those things, a toaster oven and I think an electric fry pan. And she's just staying there for now, but she can't be in the house all the time. And when I come down there to fix that house, she everybody has to be out of it. So this thing here, super super good deal and uh, so I picked this up the additional three thousand dollars left of the GoFundMe went into this I paid the rest of it and I'm hoping that around Thanksgiving depending on work and if I can get away I'm gonna haul this down to Louisiana so she'll have a place to stay and then when I go down there to work on the house and stuff too I will and it won't be inside the house and when I say a super good deal this is a 2004 King of the Road fifth wheel it's got three slide outs, paid under $6,000 for it. So anyway, you, you just could not beat it at all. And so right now, I, like I said, I drove it here. It was scary to drive it. I've never pulled anything this big. I've pulled trailers that were 32 feet long, but a bumper pull. And I don't know what the scariest part was that or pulling it with a diesel and hearing the fan come on and the motor and just how slow it takes off at the start. But it lugged it right along and stayed at 14.5 miles per gallon. And uh, temperature gauge didn't go up on the tranny or the engine, which was, I'm, it was happy. I mean, it, it was, I don't know, it was just scary. <laughs> so I didn't want to film anything. Melissa texted me, I texted her back, I don't want to talk right now, I just need to drive this home. So I'm going to get this thing pulled over into the grass here, and get it unhooked, get some power run to it, and we're going to open up the slides. All right, so here it is inside. This is a 2004 King of the Road travel trailer. It needs a few things. Right now I'm just going through and seeing what light bulbs are needed and I was trying to figure out these lights, but I need to get a 50 amp adapter so I can plug 110 and I have a backwards plug-in plugged into the 110 right now, but all that is doing is charging the battery so the DC lights will run. But it's really not that bad for the price. I mean, this is a lot of travel trailer. The chairs, they're in pretty good shape. Uh, the height of bed couch, I'm pretty sure that has to go. That thing looks pretty pretty horrible. And then I think right there you'll see where they put in the, the little table with the four chairs. I think if we just get a table with two chairs, Melissa was saying, you know, that would be just fine.
We got the gas three burner cooktop, oven, hood fan, microwave, a halfway decent sized fridge. I mean, it's bigger than a mini fridge. It's not as big as a whole house fridge, but it's got plenty of room. It's got the freezer up above. We'll have to put in a TV, and this has uh, speakers run through it, so you need to put in a receiver if you want the AM, FM radio, or whatever. Walk up here. This door is the bathroom. This is the switches for all the slides. Here's the bedroom. Got a nice little counter, window. That door is open right now, but that's a closet there. Bed's in the slide out. I think it needs a new mattress on there for sure, but uh, otherwise it's kind of a cute little bedroom. And then we have the bathroom. We got the sink, you got the mirror, nice little angled little shower. It's got like a skylight above it. And over here now in this cabinet, which is nice for storage, but years ago I had a travel trailer that had a washer and dryer in it. And this has hookups for washer and dryer, which is so nice if you are doing anything for an extended stay. You put them in here, the stackable. And uh, I really enjoyed that before, but I mean, we don't need it right now, but if we ever needed it, it's nice that it's there. The bedroom has a nice little built-in dresser there. Anyway, like I said, for the price, this is a really good deal. I don't think I'm going to keep this video short. I wanted something I can edit and get uploaded tonight yet, so Melissa can see this. And right now, I'm going to run in and I need to buy some light bulbs. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll have more videos on this as time goes. And we'll see you guys on the next video.